Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, hey, I got a fun video for you guys today. We're gonna do something a little different. We're over at my mom's house and look what we got here. We have a new Toro 21 inch super recycler. I'm gonna unbox it, mow my mom's grass. You gotta take care of mom, right? All right, let's check it out. All right guys, so first things first, of course, shout out to Toro for sending this out to us to just share with you guys on the channel. This is their brand new offering, the Super Power Super Recycler. Uh, I think we've got the red one, but have you guys seen that awesome blacked out version? Can't beat that. So anyway, let's unbox this really quick and uh, we'll show you guys what's inside. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got the new Toro Super Recycler, the 21386. All right, now a lot of you guys know about this mower, a lot of you guys use this mower. I feel like I'm joining the ranks of like Ryan Knorr and the Lawn Care Nut. Let me show you guys a quick little walk around of the mower. Uh, I love the blacked out deck, I think it's pretty sharp. Man, I have not used a gas powered push mower in honestly 15 plus years. I mean, it's. It is so, I like it, it's kind of like surreal, like time is moving slow for me right now. So I actually got to uh, jump on YouTube right now and figure out how to uh, work this thing. I, I, I don't read directions, I don't know if you guys are like that. Let me know in the comments if you read directions or go to YouTube. So uh, I know my boy Alan Hain with a lawn care nut has a review video that he put out just a few months ago on this uh, mower. So I'm gonna sit here, uh, watch that for about 10 minutes, learn this piece of equipment, and then we're gonna go cut some grass. At the end of the day though, my thought is that most of you that buy this aren't really gonna care much about all these options. You're really gonna buy it for the color scheme that you like, and I think it's gonna come down to do you like the red engine or do you want... Got the oil in there. Let's see what we're looking at now. All right. Make sure that's topped off. I don't think there's any gas, obviously. Now let's go get some gas out of the trailer. And I think we can start mowing. Oh, by the way, this just clips on right there. Two little pr uh, prongs. It just ties right into this little shoot deflector. It's pretty slick, so watch this. Bam, how about that? That's pretty sweet. Let's uh, take a quick peek underneath here, by the way. Let's see what we got. Oh, we'll just be safe doing this, guys. Wow. All right, all right. Uh, alloy or steel I don't know but by the way look at this it's like raised up that's nice stamped in there uh, they got letters uh, sure so maybe we'll try it letter uh, D I don't know halfway let's try to get three inches three and a quarter All right guys, first pass. First pass with the Toro Super Recycler. Look at this. Oh! It's kind of hard to show. This is my mom's front yard. It's my little project this year, trying to make it better. Uh, I'd say we're probably at like three, three and a half right now. I'm probably going to drop it down a little bit, kind of like a little more of a golf course look. Um, here's another good little example. Right here. There's a big tall patch and uh, slice straight through, no problem. So, oh my gosh, taking it back. I absolutely love it. My first mower was like a little three and a half, four horsepower, little lawnmower, push mower, not self propelled. That was like, that was big time. That was highfalutin, right? And uh, so, anyway, all right, let's go mow the front of the lawn, keep it going.
All right, guys, just got done with the front yard. Let me show you guys what we're looking at. It's cutting some pretty thick stuff, man. Look at this, we got push mow stripes on the front yard. Oh my God. Look at the stripe action. By the way, I wanna know, do you guys have like a striping kit for your Tauros? Uh, if so, let me know. Is there something available? A's Lawn Care, looking at you, Andy's Outdoor Adventures. I'm asking you guys, my younger guys. I will say this, the uh, personal pace or my pace or whatever they call this thing, uh, I like it. Like it's pretty intuitive. It doesn't get away from you. Uh, and this flex handle, you know, gives a little bit of give. That way it's a little bit more of a comfortable uh, push. All right guys, so check this out. I've actually had this thing for about three or four days, but I knew it was coming. So here's what we got going on today. Right off the bat, sorry in advance, Toro, you're gonna love me. We've got the torture test. <laughs> well, it's not really a torture test. It's just really long grass. This whole back commons area where my mom lives, just it just grows like a fertilized weed, bro. Let me show you guys this really quick. I mean, we cut this not even a week ago, a week and a half ago, and it's six inches tall. Everything back here, is five to six inches tall. I don't know if it's coming up on the uh, screen as well, but it is some thick, thick lawn. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's see what it can do. And so far, man, this thing is a champ. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Uh, we choked it out about twice, maybe three times, um, before that little mower to cut this, pretty awesome. <laughs> um, I, now I know, with lawnmowers, I get excited. I'm a, like an excited little schoolgirl here, because uh, I, love, I love working outdoors. I love the green industry, right? But um, pretty impressed with the mower. Uh, honestly, this was some tall grass. Like, in the Toro's defense, this is like eight inch tall grass, okay? So let's look at it. Uh, we definitely got a lot of clippings, but the pass that it did make, there's not a lot of stragglers. Like, it's pretty even. Now, tons of grass clumps, right, like all the way down, but what do you expect from 8-inch tall grass? My zero turn would do the exact same thing. So let's do this. Let's double cut it, see what we can do with trying to disperse some of the clippings with the blower after, get this back in shape, and then we'll be on a regular weekly rotation and schedule for mom's house.
All right, guys. Well, here we are. Again, everything is cut pretty nice. Like one little straggler here, okay? But honestly, with the double cut, it's looking super smooth. So once I blow the clippings, should be back in order. All right, guys, so we are all done here. Let me go take a quick uh, walk around the house, show you how the mower performed. Uh, it was about an hour and a half later. Uh, I ended up aerating the whole property too, and then uh, my friend Brandon came over and helped me get all that sod that was uh, out of the bed of the truck from that overgrown edging that you guys saw. So uh, let's go back here. By the way, let's see all the course. My goal is to take care of my mom's property a little bit better this year because uh, the last two, three years, it kind of went by the wayside. It's been so busy and moving and everything, but. This is how uh, it all cleaned up, man. I think it looks really, really nice. I wish I could capture it better for you guys, but uh, sunlight's kind of tough. You guys know that. But all honesty, uh, it looks really, really good. The clippings blew just fine. It really minced them up, so I'm pretty impressed with that. And it kind of actually looks halfway decent for once, amen? So, all right, guys. Well, hey, you already know what it is. If you guys enjoyed the video, Shoot a big thumbs up. Super appreciate you guys big time. Let me know what you guys think about the Toro Recycler. Do you guys have the blacked out version? Do you guys have the red version? I'm looking for you younger guys too. I know you guys love running these mowers. Uh, some of you guys that are homeowners, you run them. And even some of you guys were DMing me on Instagram as I shot this saying that this is one of your mowers you use for some of your gated backyards and commercial sites. So anyway, that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you guys big time. We'll catch you on the next one.